Hello there everyone, my name is Ivan Morales and I am a student at Texas A&M International University. I am currently taking a course called Engineering Graphics, which mainly consists of learning how to use the, pro the program called AutoCAD, which is basically show, um, is a program used for doing any drawings, 2D or 3D drawings. In this video I'll be showing you how to use the flat shot command. In this, as you'll see, here's a drawing that I had worked on in my class. And I'll be using this as an example to show you how to use the flash shot command. Basically what the flash shot command offers you is a means of knowing, uh, of using it for getting 2D drawings, flat drawings of uh, each side of the 3D drawing. For example, for the top, front, and the right side view of the, of the drawing. It's quite a simple tool to use, and I'll show you uh, how to use it, as, and you can just follow along with me. The first thing that you should do is to type out flash shot in the command box. Flash shot. No, before that, let's go to the top view. There you go, and now we type out flash shot. Flat shot. You'll see here that it'll give you a bunch of options but you can just ignore this for now and click create and it comes out right there but let's put it let me unzoom this oh seems like we're having a little bit of technical difficulties right here There we go. You can just set it along to the side of this drawing. You can place it anywhere as long as it's just set good enough. And as for the X, here it'll ask you for the X scale factor. So I'll suggest just leave it at 1. And the same thing for the Y scale. It'll ask you for the rotation angle for the drawing. Just set it at 0. There we have it. Now let's just move the drawing. Let's go to the isometric view and select the, the drawing and type out move, move. Select the base point. And move again. Let me switch to different view that way you can see more better. And there we have it. We have the top view. Now let's get the front view of the drawing. Go to the front side of the drawing. Type out flat shot again. Ignore everything. Click create. Now I can set it to be at the to be in the according to the drawing that we won't see more organized. There we have it. X scale one, Y scale one, and the rotation angle is set it at zero. Go back to the isometric drawing. Isometric view. Now let's move the 2D drawing. Move. We'll just leave it that, that for now. Now let's get the right side. Remember it is by typing out flat shot. Create. And now we just set it right here. X scale one, Y scale one, the same, and the rotation angle is set at zero. There we go, we have it right there. Now let's just move all the drawings, that way they can all seem more organized. Move. Now 
Let us continue removing all the drawings. By the way, you'll notice that my computer is running in Mac OS, but it's quite similar to the Windows OS version. It looks different, but it's still the same AutoCAD. You can just follow along with throughout the whole video if you're using the Windows OS. By just following along with the, all the codes that I enter for the command box. The reason it's better to organize everything like this is because it happens most of the time that the drawings won't be too organized or anything. So this is the best way to set all your orthographic orthographic views. And there we have it. We have all the sides done using the flat shot command. Thank you for watching my video, and I appreciate the time you have spent for watching my video. I hope you'll have a great one. Goodbye.